so day two we're at Sheep Ranch which is the newest course um, out here at Bandon. It used to be only 13 holes and uh, now they have irrigation everything it's 18 holes and it's the grass here is so tight my advice to you is if you take a look at your wedges you need a low bounce wedge here you should have a high bounce wedge and low bounce wedge I would think something like a six or four degrees of bounce to hit off of this grass it's extremely firm and tight you're gonna want you're gonna want your wedge to sit flush so yeah, I'm just excited. I'll get as many clips as I can, but it's tough trying to enjoy it. Yeah, no. On the third hole here, hit it to about 20 feet. And then there's a whole nother green down there. It falls off into the ocean. Just beautiful. But uh, doing a little better today. One under through two. Hopefully make another bird here. And on to the next. Fourth hole here. Still minus one. Just playing well. Uh, hit it to there about 20 feet this course is beautiful the ocean I would say I don't think you can go wrong playing any of the courses here even if you have a day just get on where you can any of these courses is gonna blow your mind the trails course is a little in the woods so if you want to see the ocean maybe go to a different course but it's amazing so the wind got a little too strong so I just wanted to do a voiceover for this part this is a look at the sixth hole it's a 460 yard par 4 from the back and it's just stunning these views can't be appreciated on camera um, maybe if I took the drone out over there you could appreciate it but it's unbelievable the views you get of the ocean here um, I've played like the ocean course I've played Pebble Beach this is more dramatic it's it just seems to be more natural and untouched so here's a look at my blocked tee shot that I hit about 600 yards left. All right, so we're on the 11th hole. It's a par five. There's three par fives on the back. So on the front, it's a par 34. On the back, it's a par 38. Uh, this hole's 535 downwind, so I'm not gonna have much left in here. Took a five wood off the tee. I'm currently uh, two over right now. So just really not making any of the putts. Um, making the three footers, four footers around the hole to not three putt, but I'm just not making the birdie putts. But hopefully we can change that on these par fives. This place is immaculate. Um, the wind is blowing probably 15, 20 miles an hour consistently, and I, it's not, but it's not obnoxious. Uh, it's kind of what you expect here, and yeah, it's part of the challenge. Currently three over through 14, run 15 green. I have a really long birdie putt there. Um, just yelled the loudest F word of my life. I'm trying to regain it. Flying pretty well, all things considered. Just uh, trying to get back to even. I can't stop three putting. Um, three putt on the par five for par, and then three putt back there, which led to the loudest F word ever. So, we're working on it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Zyre Golf's gonna love that. Buckle down, buckle down. There it is, baby. Day complete at Sheep Ranch. The facility is unbelievable. The course is short. I think I was on all the par fives and two, birdied three of them, three jacked one of them. It's an incredible facility. It's freezing cold. I think it was only 6,300 yards today. Um, shot 77, five over, had a rough back nine, but ends on a 464 yard par five. So you get to end on a birdie. Uh, yeah, this is, I would say, this gives you a lot more views of the ocean. The 17th, 16th hole, the par three is scenic. There's a couple of par threes that are just unbelievable, but highly recommend this course. Played decent, and then tomorrow's gonna be a hurricane. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like the video if you're still with me. I'd appreciate that, trying to grow the golf channel. So just wanna do some closing thoughts on Sheep Ranch. You can see a pretty clean front nine here, 36, and then we went to hell in a hand basket on the back. Four bogeys in a row, five bogeys total on the back, but you know, that's golf. Currently in the process of moving, so 
So I have no studio right now. The house is being torn apart. But Sheep Ranch was such a good golf course. It's a mix. You have some holes where you go back close to the tree line, um, and then you move back out to the ocean, but you're constantly exposed to the ocean on this golf course. And the ground, I think the course is only two years old, so the ground is still a little too firm and immature, but it's beautiful and it's the only course currently on the property that has its own driving range. Normally you go to the facility, which is central to all of the courses. This has its own range, which is very convenient. Uh, the, another fun fact about the course is it's the windiest place on the property. So there are no bunkers on the entire golf course. So that's a unique feature as well. But I really enjoyed the course. Um, I liked it more than Old McDonald. And uh, I hope you guys are liking the series so far. So please like the video if you're still with me. We'll see you next Monday.